I'm so confused. I'm happy, but I'm confused. Weeks after being rescued from a suspected dog fighting ring in Camden, these nine animals are on the road to recovery, but still have a long way to go. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. But they're, they're, they've done well. They're very happy. They've calmed down. Uh, they're people friendly. This is not a, a rehab center, so they could be doing better if we could get them in other places. They have some trust issues. Kershaw County deputies arrested 42-year-old Burton Mincy, charging him with 20 counts of ill treatment of animals. 12 dogs were rescued and all three had to be put down. Investigator Holly Wagner with the Richland County Sheriff's Department says they do not have a dog fighting task force, even though she says the crime is widespread. It's a lot more reactive um, than, than it would be proactive. It's so hard to get the probable cause that you need to make a case. Now, if a person has 10 or 15 pit bulls in their backyard, that's a real good indication that they're fighting dogs, but it's not probable cause to get a search warrant. Wagner says a 2011 incident helped save the lives of these two young pit bulls rescued in Richland County. Deputies arrested James Green in that case. The 51-year-old pled guilty last month to dog fighting and will spend a year in state prison. Deputies say he cut off the dog's ears. These two were puppies and now work at the sheriff's department. Where you have dog fighting, you have criminal activity. It's a criminal enterprise. Just in this place, there was guns, cocaine. No, it doesn't stop there. Wagner says the department gets help from several other agencies, including the Midlands Humane Society. Executive Director Wayne Brennesel says they have one investigator that covers several counties and helped law enforcement in both cases. We just may work on the front end of it because people feel comfortable telling us about situations that we can investigate. Our investigator went out and walked the property with sheriff's deputies and identified, pointed out some things that are regarding uh, the condition of the dogs and regarding uh, paraphernalia on the property. With only a few resources, officials say it all starts with hearing from the public. In the past, they might have just thought, well, that person has an awful lot of pit bulls, but I wonder why. And now most people realize if you have someone with 10 or 15 pit bulls on log chains in their backyard, that's an indication that they're fighting. They didn't ask to be put into this world and treated like they were for the first couple of years of their life, they stand a chance. As far as I'm concerned, any dog that comes here stands a chance. A chance they hope will save the lives of man's best friend. In Camden, Soheb Hasnali, Watch Fox News. <laughs>